Welcome to Boone Pickens Stadium, Stillwater, Oklahoma, home to the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Pistol Pete, ready to start firing those pistols for the battle we have in store. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the West Virginia Mountaineers, taking on the 22nd ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Mountaineers offense will take the first swing of the game. And this guy is a big time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Back to throw. It's Green trying to get to it. He'll pull it down. Shakes off the tackle. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Looking for space. It's Donaldson. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Got it set up on the outside. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. On the move. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Mountaineers are moving quickly down the field. Power football with the run. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. The Mountaineers have it with a first and 10. Give to the running back. Knocked down at the 25-yard line. Picked up 10 there and gets a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Here comes second down and this crowd is turning it up a notch. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Tackled, but he has a first down. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. To the ground, he's got it again. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Put themselves in a bit of a bind, but that last one is second and 14. Looking downfield, it's Green. Swings it out to the flat. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. 12th play of the opening drive coming up, but now this marathon faces a third and long. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
point. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. On the run from inside his own five. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. So the Oklahoma State Cowboys offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Caught in the backfield, it's Preston. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. Didn't have any better luck going back to him on second down. Now they're staring at third and ten. Wants to throw. It's Bowman. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. From the gun, the ground game. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. That pass is incomplete. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. From the gun. Wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. And the Cowboys will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. He gets his first one of the day out of there, and they used him three times in that loss last week. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you, Tyler. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play. Hines a good hold there and gets four to give them a little breathing room out to the five. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Now adjusting. At the 15, he's loose. And after the huge scramble, he slides and gets down. Terrific run to get out of trouble. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Off the RPO complete. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And the Mountaineers have their offense in high gear. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll go to the ground. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Right back to the well. 
Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. The Mountaineers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking for a man. It's Green. Quickly to the tight end. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. And here on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Dances away from the heat. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. And the Mountaineers are threatening in the red zone. Gonna run it. It's Donaldson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Mountaineers! This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it 14-0. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia is on top, but this is a close game. And, you know, back in the day, you'd feed Herschel Walker and go home. That guy needs to emerge for them today. They're up by a field goal over Auburn. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And the Heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. The give to the back. Open space at the 25. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. The Cowboys in the hurry up. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. We got three on first down and second and seven. Brings up. On the move, it's Gordon. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. They're bringing heat. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And the Cowboys will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Farmer. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Quarterback moving. He's going to run it. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Caught in the backfield, it's Donaldson. 
He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Finds his big tight end. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Mountaineers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll try the middle. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's green. Just a short pass to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. From the gun, wants to pass. Moves away as he feels pressure. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Going up top on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front. They won one right there, getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play. And they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. Got it in the middle. It's break. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Mountaineers! No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They took it 71 yards down the field. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. He's going to throw deep right side. And he hauls it in inside the 30. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And you just could not allow that to happen defensively, giving up a big play like that. They're going to need to now play with some sense of urgency if they're not going to give up any points here before the end of the half. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll run it on first and goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cowboys! Nice job on this offense, putting the scoring drive together. And now listen, it's not even halftime yet, so keep fighting. Um, you know, going to halftime, regroup. We found a little something-something on this drive. We'll see if we can cut into this lead and continue to make this game closer and closer. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And after the extra point, they're now down 21-7. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. It was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Got it in the middle, it's Fox. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. They work their way to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of five. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Now on second down. Looking to throw, it's Green. Chunked it away just as he was hit. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Wants to throw on third. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And the Mountaineers send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. And they don't want to risk a turnover here, so they'll just take the knee and head to the locker room. Typically, you only see this at the end of the game or end of a half. I'm not really sure why we're getting an early peek at victory formation. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like you've had a very enjoyable day there today in Stillwater. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Boone Pickens Stadium. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Still running at the 40. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time, they attack the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? You've got to be expecting that they're going to try and attack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. From the shotgun, the inside give. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Got room at the 35. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. The Cowboys want to move quickly. Takes a handoff. It's Gordon. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Handoff from the shotgun. Bulldozes him. He's piled up 97 yards on the ground, and he's been terrific all season, ranking in the top 10 in rushing. To the air, it's Bowman. Into the end zone. They intercepted. And the offense came out aggressively here in the second half, but they can't put the drive together and spit it up on the turnover. I'll tell you, this defense has a lot of athletes, and they've got a lot of guys with ball skills. If you put the football anywhere around them in their vicinity and their ability to catch the football, they'll come down with it. This quarterback has got to be way more careful here in the second half.
West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Card in the backfield. It's Donaldson. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Mountaineers will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Presley. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Gets it out quickly. And I love working with the slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. They're setting up the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And the Cowboys will send out the punt unit. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. West Virginia has it in the offense, ready to go to work. To the air, it's Green. Going to throw it over the top of the D. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. He's going to pass on second down. With the catch, it's Robinson. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? From the gun, wants to pass. The sweet feet buy a little time. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And the Mountaineers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Unloads to the wideout. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. And here comes the offense on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Trying to escape and get it himself. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. The Mountaineers will punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the return, it's Presley. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Motion from the offense. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Let's it fly deep downfield. It's incomplete. Almost intercepted in the end zone. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Shotgun snap on third down. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Cowboys will line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Looking for a block, it's Farmer. 
They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a ton of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. Get it out on the screen. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Movement here from the tight end. Back to the ground with the running back. Keeps the legs moving. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as they get him down at the 37. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. It's a draw. And they make the tackle, not before he gets the first down. Now let's see if they rush to the line or let the time run out here in the third. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Buying some time as he moves left. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. How about this methodical, soul-crushing drive? They've already drained more than three minutes off the clock as they snap it on second down. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. The give to the tailback. Nice move there. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Looking to pass. It's green. Keeps looking downfield. Short gain on the play before he slides. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, West Virginia. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns, a 21-point cushion in the fourth. They're just about ready to kick it away. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his man in the middle. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. He wants to pass it on second down. He looks that one in nicely. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Works the middle of the field. Brings him down at the 48. It's a gain of 15 and a first down. And the Cowboys moving quickly to the line. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little... Hit the gas, kid! Wide open ahead! Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. The defense just got out-muscled at the point of attack there. 
And the back showed good vision, made a cut into the hole, first down. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Ole Miss showed its toughness on the road and picked up a crucial victory. And every win counts, don't get me wrong. But the victories outside of the comforts of home can really serve as a springboard. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Back to throw, it's green. Still looking, on the move. And midfield, he's got room. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. And the Mountaineers getting set on first and ten. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme, there is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wants to throw on second down. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback extends the play. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Well, when the offense goes empty, that triggers the defense to want to blitz. The linebacker came that time, they couldn't get him blocked, and down goes the QB. The Mountaineers decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires left. He makes a catch. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. He's been a matchup problem all season long. Defenses just don't know how to solve the puzzle. And with that last catch, over 500 yards receiving now on the year for him. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to pass, it's Bowman. Makes the grab down the middle. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Bully ball on third and short. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. 
He's got it. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. That's caught. It's green. Touchdown, Cowboys! And the comeback is on! Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? You can just feel that right now. It just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team, they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. Takes a snap, wants to throw. It's complete to the right. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Picked up some yardage with that completion, now second down. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. They move the chains on the ground, now another first down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football, and there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFO. From the gun, the give, looking for room. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Trying to move them on the counter. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And the Mountaineers line up to punt it away. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Looking for a productive play on first down. Scanning the field, it's Bowman. Getting some heat. Working that left side. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the big fella. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Coming out. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's a tough one to swallow, man. You got yourself in a position where you can go tie this football game. You, you're in a good spot. You're trying to move the ball down the field. Guy's trying to make a play. Fumbles the football. Now you got to beg for the defense to somehow give you one more opportunity. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. So that defense keeps the lead right where it is and a chance to build on it, David. Yeah, the defense did a great job. Now the offense, you know what you're going to get from this defense. They have to be aggressive. They're trying to get the football back later in the game, Jesse. Because they're going to be so aggressive too, David, you know on offense now you have a chance to break one maybe in the run game or finding a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the passing game to really pad the lead. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the quarterback takes a knee. It has been said that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back -back L's. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still think there's time for this team to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks. Flush it down the toilet. 
refocus the mechanism. We're ready to rock and roll next week. It just needs to be about finding a way to win a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get this ship right. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.